I think you could put it in a sentence that we see the ministry as a war on waste at home and a war on want overseas. The purpose is basically to give a, a, a practical assistance to those on the front line, uh, mainly in developing countries. It's based on a warehouse in Lurgan, adjacent to High Street Methodist Church. We receive gifts from all over Ireland and they're sent all over the world and 126 containers have been sent and maybe about 15 or 20 other consignments. It varies totally, there's agricultural, uh, there's educational of course, medical is quite a big one um, and evangelistic materials. Thank God we have contacts now in libraries, general managers of hospital trusts, government authorities, and uh, whenever they have material that is good, new, useful, but is going to be thrown on the tip, they have authority to contact William Carson and the folk at the Container Ministry here, and they just supply us. I was quite surprised uh, recently to notice on one of the Sky News reports about the Ebola crisis in Sierra Leone to find our ambulance which we sent a few years ago to the next Memorial Hospital in Sigwama to be used in such a problem area. It is a faith-based ministry. We don't know where the next container is going until someone requests it. We don't know where the items come until we send out the information throughout the churches. The Lord is the boss, but we rely totally on His provision. And I can honestly say that of 2015, 25 years on, not one item that we have been specifically asked for, we haven't been able to respond to. Sometimes on the last day before the container is closed, the last item will appear. Well, PCs are very often a requested warehouse item. And uh, with my experience in that field, and being able to take early retirement, uh, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to use that experience uh, to help others. We do it willingly. Um, we feel it's a gift that we have. Um, we hope that we can bless people through the donations of the kind folks. Mainly the Container Warehouse, they sent out educational and medical supplies to me. I worked mainly in Albion Lower Basic School teaching computers. And when I first arrived at the school, only had really two working computers. And yet I was teaching up to 200 children weekly. And with the support of the Container Warehouse, um, I was able to help provide a computer room that had over 12 computers and printers. They were the only lower basic school in the Gambia to have such a computer room as theirs and they were recognised by the Department of Education in their country for this. It costs about £3,000 to send a container out. We never really have any money in the container ministry but we've never been without and we've been able to do through the generosity of God's people what we've been asked to do. This is a church-wide uh, organisation. We, we, we could sit here all day, but unless some people, everybody from, from young to old throughout the Methodist Church in Ireland will respond to our appeal, uh, unless we get it either from in a practical way or in a financial way. Uh, maybe an organisation will run a function and they'll send us money. Um, it always seems to be here at the right time. But the most important part of our ministry is prayer. What's the future of the container ministry? I don't know. Um, ask the boss. <laughs>